Eric Gilbert, or is it Arik? Did we? Did it's we, Eric. No, it's, Eric, it's okay. pronounced Eric. He's just got a, a different spelling. Okay, so it's Eric Gilbert. He is away from Georgia for quote personal issues. Now, let me read the statement here from Kirby Smart. Eric is dealing with some personal issues. We love him. Our thoughts and prayers are with him now, and we hope to get him back soon. And we have talked quite a bit about Eric Gilbert ever since last year. Remember, oh no, it's been like it's yeah. been like nine months, man. Yeah. It, so he that sat guy's out. Been on four different teams in nine months. He sat out the end of the LSU season. The last That's two right. games. He started. He started the season. Yeah, he started quit, the season. Of, sat it, out in the middle of the season. Got all the way through until the last two games that they won: the Florida game and the Ole Miss game. That they, they ended up winning without him. But he sat out those two games, decided he was going to transfer, had some talks with Coach O, decided to transfer anyway, went to Florida, announced he was committing to Florida, went to Florida, left Florida by In summer. About two weeks? Yeah, about two weeks. And then he went back to Baton Rouge and started having That's some right. conversations with Coach O again. And then out of nowhere, boom, he is staying home because he's from Georgia. Kirby Smart got him picked up by June 1st. He was on campus going through summer classes and whatnot, and he has taken all of his summer classes and apparently has done well. He has earned recognition for his work in the classroom. His summer workouts were great. He began preseason camp with the program, but he left the team sometime this past week. He was the number five overall prospect, number one tight end in the uh, industry-generated 247 sports composite. This is a... Completely unmitigated disaster. Well, I, I don't know, and and it's all be been it. brought on by him, by the way. So, so I went he hasn't through dealt with an injury. No, this no injuries. Not, I've got. Like, he hadn't really gotten in trouble outside of just wasn't doing his schoolwork. Yeah, uh, which is which is why he had to leave LSU and couldn't get into Florida uh, because he just wasn't academically able to play. We think we yeah, but we don't know that. Apparently, everything was no, great no, no, no. at Georgia. So we like it was all rumors. Go, hang on. But but he had to go to Georgia and take all those summer classes to get eligible. He didn't do that for fun. He did that to get called up but on they, his schoolwork. They didn't say that it was to get eligible. Like this is all still rumor. I understand. But I I'll tell you this. I watched. How many times in life has rumor been true? Uh, quite a few. Quite a few. Where there's smoke, there's fire. Right. My wife and I watched Man on the Moon last night. You remember that movie? Jim Carrey, the Andy Kaufman story, all that good stuff, and. It was one of the most heartbreaking parts of the movie, which, spoiler alert, if you have not seen it, at the end of the movie, he is diagnosed with lung cancer, and nobody believes him because he's joked around so much that nobody believes like what's true and what's not. Like They don't know what's real. And in this situation, maybe there is something serious that is going on, and it could be a That's family right. thing. He could have lost a, a family member. There could be any number of things, but... When he you get your chain yanked, stuff himself. That's yeah. bad. Yes, that's when you good. when you get your chain yanked so many times, when he has left LSU, but then was going to come back to LSU, and then went to Florida, but then left Florida before he ever even went through workouts or anything, and then goes to Georgia, but now he's we're in the middle of training camp, getting ready for the season, and the season kicks off in you know three weeks or whatever, and now you've got this. I don't know if you get the benefit of the doubt anymore. Once you've done this so many times, right? So, so you don't. I, if he's got legit problems, he needs to get them taken care of, and I hope he gets them taken care of, and that's that's fine. That's all clear. Let me ask you this: I openly fall in love with players really quickly, right? Yes, you do. Like I, you know that, right? Like I, I'm quick to fall in love with these guys, coaches, players. When you spark something in me, I'm in, and I get in the tank, and I'm all in. I found it interesting that Kirby Smart has known this man known this young man for like a month and a half okay and all of a sudden he I, i'm i love this kid and i hope that he gets what do you love him do you love him or is that just bullshit like what do you think if you've been around kirby for four or five years and kirby says he loves you too like you love me the same way you love the guy that you've known for a week and a half because that kind of makes me feel like shit like that makes me feel like you don't love me at all like you, what? These are just words that you say, Kirby. Yeah, exactly. How words big is love? Out of your mouth. <laughs> I don't know what to make Kirby of this. Kirby didn't even know what he looks like. Couldn't pick him out in the lineup. He spent his entire summer in <laughs> class, probably taking online classes, which I'm, I commend. I did that. That's okay. They're easier to pass. Yeah. 
somebody else can log in for you. That's okay. That's a good hundred percent right. I'm not listen. I'm not knocking it. I'm not knocking it. It's how I got a degree. Not 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 hating on it. I'm just saying. I'm I'm I think Kirby it should just step away and say he stepped away. He's got personal issues. He needs to get him straight. Whatever. You don't have to defend him. You don't have to hide it. But to boast the kid up and to blow smoke up his ass ain't the way to do it. All right. Dan didn't blow smoke up his ass. Who didn't blow smoke up his ass? They talked to him like he was an adult. They talked to him like he was a grown up, and they helped him work through anything he had to work through. And he he had to make whatever decision he had to make. And and I hope that he eventually gets on the field because the kid is projected to be a monster. Yes. Like, we've yet to see the monster. I'd like to see it. I I agree. And what and what you really hope for is in a year from now, he's. You know, this this dude, if he can produce this year and next, should be going into the NFL draft. But at some point in time, he's got to get on the field. We've got to see him perform. And then when he does go through the draft combine, all of this stuff is going to come up. At some point in time, he's yes. going to have to answer, not to us and not to the media, but to 32 NFL teams, and he's got to explain to them what happened during this 9, 10-month period of his life. That well, I guess going all the way back to when you walked out of LSU, and then how did LSU get so much better once you left? I do not believe in a, an addition by subtraction. I think we win those games with him and without him. I, I don't believe in that. I think he's a great talent, but I need to know as an owner, a GM, a president that's going to take you with a first round pick because that's where he's going and a, a substantial salary. What happened? We need to see some kind of stability from him, and we haven't seen it yet. So, we shall see. You think he'll be ready for week one, George, uh, Clemson? No. That's sad. I because don't think... This I, is, that's a game where he needs to be on the field. Agreed. He just got there in the summer, and I think you got a lot of guys that have been in that program. Now, I do think he's a monster, but if you're missing training camp... like yeah, No, I, I'm with no. you. Had he not missed this time and he was there for the summer and he was there every day, every week, all the way up until week one, there's they don't have another tight end that should start over him. They got yeah, some badass receivers. Washington. They got some talent. Like, I think well, because he was going to be playing wide receiver, like Washington was going to be their their tight end. That I, I get six, that. seven, I get that. you know, two hundred and eighty pound monster. Like he's kids. Yeah, I think I think I think Eric Gilbert's special. Well, he's absolutely special. Yes. And I think like if he can get back Sometime this week, maybe, but yeah, he needs I to get back quick. I don't think you release a statement if he's uh, coming I, back. I, like, I, if he's gone for a few days, there's no reason to give a statement, right? You know, I mean, you literally just don't have to answer. It says he'll be back in a couple of days. He's dealing with some stuff. He'll be back in a couple of days. You don't have to go through the I love the kid and I hope he gets back. You don't have to do all that for somebody who's going to be gone for a long weekend. Yeah, that's not necessary. You are correct. You you say that. For the guy that might be gone for a while. No, you, yes, that's my thought process. This sounds like he's not going to be back for a little bit. Thanks for listening to the Winning Cures Everything podcast. The website is winningcureseverything.com. And if you want to connect with us, we're on Twitter at GaryWCE, at ChrisBGiannini, at Winning Cures, or you can email us, Gary at winningcureseverything.com or Chris at winningcureseverything.com. Subscribe everywhere you need to subscribe, and we'll see you soon.